Jonathan's yeah. about him fishing for Willie. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> He's so <laughs> So this is a song about Radha and Krishna. I used to sing it uh, before every Bhagavatam class. Uh, I wanted to just read a little bit of something before I sing it because it kind of got me in the mood. Um, Rupa Goswami wrote this. It's called, a, it's a play actually called Vidagda Madhava. And uh, this is from the Chaitanya Charitamrita. This is when Rupa Goswami first introduced this play to all the devotees 500 years ago. And uh, he wrote this beautiful play. And Ramananda Roy, one of Lord Chaitanya's intimate associates, said, uh, this is not just poetry, it's like a shower of nectar. And so these are just the verses without the purports. <clears throat> and then we're going to sing Jai Radha Madhava. Um, you can pass the... Uh, are, are you going to do the Sanskrit and the English? Yeah, I'm going to do the Sanskrit one verse at a time. The Sanskrit is in green, and then uh, all the Sanskrit twice for every one, you know, call and repeat. Okay. And then I'm going to do like one verse of, of the English and repeat. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is the Vidagda Madhava from Anki Lila. Mm -hmm. And this is like the introduction of the play. May the pastimes of Sri Krishna reduce the miseries existing in the material world and nullify all unwanted desires. The pastimes of the Supreme Personality of Godhead are like shakarini, a blend of yogurt and sugar candy. They override the power of even the nectar produced on the moon, and for they distribute the sweet fragrance of the concentrated loving affairs of Shimati Radharani and the gopis. Ramananda Rai inquired, quote, How have you introduced the assembly of players? Quote, when the entrance of the actors is set in motion by the arrival of a suitable time, the entrance is called Pravartaka. Quote, Springtime has arised, and the full moon of that season inspired the Supreme Personality of Godhead, who is complete in everything with new attraction to meet the beautiful Srimati Radharani at night to increase the beauty of their pastimes. The devotees now present are constantly thinking of the Supreme Lord and are therefore highly advanced. This work, named the Vidagda Madhava, depicts the characteristics, characteristic pastimes of Lord Krishna with decorations of poetic ornaments and the inner grounds of the forest of Vrindavan provide a suitable platform for the dancing of Krishna and with the gopis. Therefore, I think that the pious activities of persons like us who have tried to advance in devotional service have now attained a maturity. O oh, learned devotees, I am now, I am by nature ignorant and low, even though it is for me that the Madhagamata, from me that the Madhagamata has come, it is filled with descriptions of the transcendental attributes of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Therefore, will not such a literature bring about the attainment of the highest goal of life? Although its wood may be ignited by a low-class man, fire can nevertheless purify gold. Similarly, although I am very low by nature, this book may help cleanse the dirt from within the hearts of the golden devotees. Then Ramananda Roy inquired from Rupa Goswami about the causes of the loving affairs between Krishna and the gopis, such as previous attachment, transformations of love, endeavors for love, and exchanges of letters disclosing the gopis' awakening of love for Krishna. Srila Rupa Goswami gradually informed Ramananda Roy about everything he asked. Hearing his explanations, all the devotees of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu were struck with wonder. Quote, experiencing previous attachment to Krishna, Purva Raga, Shimati Radharani thought, quote, since I have heard the name of the person called Krishna, I have practically lost my good sense. 
Then there is another person who plays his flute in such a way that after I hear the vibration, intense madness arises in my heart. And again, there is still another person whom my mind becomes attached when I see his beautiful lightning-like effulgence in his picture. Therefore, I think that I am greatly condemned, for I have simultaneously become attached to three persons. It would be better for me to die because of this. My dear friend, these palpitations of Srimati Radharani's heart are extremely difficult to cure. If one, even if one applies some medical treatment, it would be only end in defamation. Oh, dearly beautiful one, the artistic loveliness of your picture is now impressed within my mind. Since you are now living within my mind, wherever I wish to run, because I'm agitated by impressions of you, I find that you, oh my friend, are blocking my way. Upon seeing peacock feathers in front of her, this girl suddenly begins trembling. When she sometimes sees a necklace of gunja, small conch shells, she shed tears and cries loudly. I do not know what kind of new ecstatic influence has entered this heart of this poor girl. She has imbued, it has imbued her with the dancing attitude of a player creating wonderful, unprecedented dances on a stage. Shimati Radharani said to her constant companion, Vishaka, quote, My dear friend, if Krishna is unkind to me, there will be no need for you to cry, for it will not be due to any fault of yours. Then I shall have to die. But afterwards, please do one thing for me. To observe my funeral ceremony, place my body with its arms embracing a tamal tree like creepers so that I may remain forever in Vrindavan, undisturbed. That is my last request." End quote. Ramananda Roy inquired, what are the characteristics of emotional love? Quote, my dear beautiful friend, if one develops love of Godhead, love of Krishna, the son of Nanda Maharaj, all the bitter and sweet influences of this love will manifest in one's heart. Such love of Godhead acts in two ways. The poisonous effect of love of Godhead defeat the fresh and severe poison of the serpent. Yet there is simultaneously transcendental bliss, which pours down and defeats the poisonous effect of a snake, as well as the happiness derived from pouring nectar on one's head. It is perceived as doubly effective, simultaneously poisonous, and nectarian. Mm -hmm. 